Senator Alamika urges Nigerians to join faith to quicken Buhari's recovery. Senator Francis Limina has called on Nigerians to pray for President Muhammadu Buhari and shun inflammatory statements that are capable of causing trouble for Nigeria. The senator said Nigerians should endeavor to live in peace irrespective of our tribal and religious differences. He said what binds Nigerians together are stronger than what puts difference between Nigerians. The deputy chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, Francis Alamina, has called on Nigerians to join faith together and pray for President Muhammadu Buhari for quick recovery. In an email to Nage. Com, Senator Alamina, who represents Edo North in the National Assembly, also appealed to Nigerians to exercise restraints in their death wish and inflammatory statements which he said are capable of plunging the country into further crisis. According to him, some inflammatory statements and death wishes by some desperate Nigerians to score political and personal points, are capable of threatening the peace and unity of the nation. He said, Nigeria is one and what binds us together is stronger than whatever interest each of us has. As Nigerians, it behooves us to pursue activities that will promote peaceful coexistence and avoid the ongoing drumbeats of destruction and chanting of war songs. Ailing President Muhammadu Buhari needs prayers from all Nigerians. In his idolfitry message made available by his personal assistant, Ben Atu, Alimignat asked Muslim faithful to imbibe the lessons of Ramadan in all their daily activities and join efforts in the continued political and religious stability of Nigeria. Nigerian Senate will continue to make laws that will promote oneness, peace and ensure the unity of the nation, noting. We are stronger collectively and the national interest is more paramount than any sectional or parochial interest. The deputy chief whip of the Senate further appealed to political leaders to stop the promotion of conflict as shadow sponsors, adding, What we stand to lose at the advanced stage of conflict is more devastating than whatever gains we may anticipate. All hands should be on deck to keep Nigeria as one entity. Our elder statesmen, religious, and traditional institutions have the task of cautioning their people across various ethnic groups to stop their continued agitation for a breakup of Nigeria. While thanking the acting president for his peaceful moves in town hall meetings with various ethnic groups. Senator Alamakna lamented the determination of some individuals to pull the nation back to its dark ages. He said, Our founding fathers had reasons to have divided the nation but decided to remain as one in their collective wisdom. We must maintain the path of our founding fathers. It is too late for us to divide a nation for our personal reasons. Whatever we have not been able to achieve as a nation, we cannot achieve it in division. There is more need now for our collaboration than ever before. It was unity that brought us together and it required the same unity to keep us together as one family the statement. 